Let me talk to you people for a second. I just want a bit of your time. I want you to understand something clearly. I need you to understand that you don't realize how brainwashed you really are. Now, of course you take what I'm saying, brainwashed, as an insult, but it's not. Case may be, some people call you black. Some people don't want to be black, but some people call you black. But do you choose to be black? Now you walk in a certain neighborhood, they're black just like you, but some people don't want to be black, even though we all look like we're black. But we keep forgetting that the culture that you was raised from is not the same as another person who want to be black, who thinks they black and understands they might just be black. But other cultures states, don't call me black. Is black as my skin? No, my skin is brown. There's a shades of black. What generation, what century, we use the word black to identify you? But that's not my identification. I have a name. I have a history. I have a culture. I have an origin. But I can walk in your neighborhood and you can recognize me that I'm not from your neighborhood because of the culture, even though my skin is the same as yours. So brothers and sisters, do we use the skin color to get what we want, to, 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 to act like we all together, when I really don't know you? You come from another island, you come from another state, come from another borough, you come from a whole different country, you come from a whole different continent. But do we think the same? We might have somewhat the same struggles. We might have the same type of struggles, but you still don't think of me the same. My skin is black? No, my skin is brown. But there's people's skin that really is black. Or is it? Is it a dark shade of brown? Mm. You see, we confuse each other in many different ways. It depends on what we're studying or learning. Some of us don't learn or study nothing, only what they teach us. So you you're happy for what you think you know, and in fact, you don't know nothing. Because every day you will learn something new when you open up your mind and accept new information. So I make my statement to you again. We're black, but we're not black. Do you accept that you're black? Oh, but you can accept yourself calling yourself a nigger. But if you understood what a nigger was, a nigger is black. But they didn't tell you that. It's a different language that was used. They didn't tell you the word nigger. It comes from a different language. All they did was put the stigma that you was a lazy ass nigger. But you thought nigger is an insult, which in fact, it wasn't. The insult came from when they lied and say you was a lazy ass because they wanted you to work harder to, to, for them to make more money. So then they got the stigma of saying lazy ass nigga. Do some more studying brothers and sisters. Understand this, just because we come from this, we look the same somewhat, just because.
we might want to all just say, can we all just get along? That stigma, it's nothing but a lie. Because history tells you, and if, even in your holy books, there was always war. So if black people or dark shades of brown people was on the earth first, so where all the wars went? So we just walked in peace? Nah. There were always war because there were always people. And when we identified and put, put agendas and color shades on a skin organ, just so they can identify. And even when people come out, mulatto, creole, light skin, pale skin, we still find a way to change things up, to make things more difficult. But your identity is where you come from. Your identity comes from your origin. You got to take it way back to understand that. Some of you believe the minute you meet somebody, they offer you some information. The information sounds logically clear, but in fact, it doesn't belong to you. If you don't do your research for yourself, and if you don't do your research and have an expanding mind, you will always be captivated. Because a lot of people want to find and hold on to something. They want to hold on to something, even though they black, even though they believe they black, even though they accept themselves of being black. Don't you know in certain parts of the world, centuries ago, black meant lower status of who you are. White meant that you was royalty, and that came from black nation. You see, we think we know what we think we know, but in fact, we haven't studied enough to know. Peep the game, brothers and sisters. Peep the game. You ever met a group of people who say this? I'm not black. You ever met a group of people who tell you that? And they live here, North America, but they tell you, I'm not black. Shua Manra, find your true identity. That's the whole fact. 